Hi Pisces, welcome to your monthly reading for October 2019. These readings are always for Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. If this doesn't resonate with your Sun sign, Pisces, be sure to check your other signs. What does Pisces need to hear, please, October? Cards are flying right out for you, Pisces. Wow. What else for Pisces, please? What is the most important message? For some of you here, this seems to be very financially focused, security focused, working on those pentacles. For some of you, you may have had some money issues for quite some time, feeling like you really had to conserve with the Four of Pentacles energy, feeling like you've been a little bit stuck, but there seems to be a huge breakthrough here involving security and finances and resources, maybe in the home, what you value. The most important message here is the Eight of Cups. So this is about leaving a difficult cycle behind, moving forward. Hmm. Libra energy. So this really is about finding balance and we're starting off with the Six of Pentacles. So from Libra going into Scorpio season in the month of October, there's a lot about balance here. The Six of Pentacles also represents a balance, give and take. So where you feel like maybe security for you and resources, something within the home has been off balance, there could be a very big breakthrough here. All the hard work you've been putting in with the Eight of Pentacles, trying to conserve, trying to save, maybe for some of you wanting to buy a home, make a large purchase, save to just have money for a rainy day. So with the Eight of Cups, definitely leaving behind a difficult cycle. We will clarify, but it is going on a new journey and a new path. So reciprocity with the Six of Pentacles here. All the hard work that you put in Pisces, it is going to pay off. And sometimes we lose hope and faith when things don't happen when we expected them or expected when they would happen. So sometimes it's best not to focus on time. And it's better to focus on divine timing. So when things are meant to happen. The Fool represents a new journey. Interestingly enough, look what we have here. We have the World card. This chapter wrapping up the last card of the Major Arcanas. And then we have the Fool, a new beginning. So this is the completion of a cycle with the world. So this is beautiful. For some of you, even this could be representing a completion in terms of retirement. Maybe leaving a job. Maybe some of you are coming into some money, a settlement. With the Empress... That is Venus energy. So again, Libra season, representative of Venus and Taurus energy. But the Empress is definitely feeling empowered. So financially empowered, securely, in security. It's a real secure feeling. The Empress represents for some a rebirth, but enjoying the luxury. Simple luxuries even for some of you. Maybe taking a vacation. We have the Seven of Wands. So interestingly enough here, sometimes it's best to keep these things to yourself, especially if you're coming into maybe some money, financially doing well. Because when we have that Seven of Wands, obviously this comes after the Six of Wands. And the Six of Wands is achieving something, reaching a milestone, winning. With the Seven of Wands, that comes when 
sometimes people become jealous of you or you have to stand your ground, stand up for yourself. Maybe sometimes the wrong people come in when they find out that you're doing well. Sometimes people want to come back that are toxic. So that is just a warning to be careful for that kind of energy. But let's take a look at the Six of Pentacles, this beautiful balance of reciprocity. For some of you, you could have been putting this work into a relationship. Let's take a look at the Six of Pentacles for Pisces. Six of Pentacles. You've got three major arcanas here, so this is definitely a rebirth period. Yeah, look at this. Three of Cups, celebration, good times, abundance. Look at all this abundance in this card. There's a lot about abundance here between the Empress, the Three of Cups, feeling a strong, strong, and look at this. This reminds me of fall. Look what this has. It has the pumpkin, reaping the rewards of all the hard work that you've put in with this Eight of Pentacles, Pisces. So keep your chin up. If things are difficult, just wait for that transition to happen in fall, October, November. But... For some of you, especially as Pisces, even when you don't have a lot to give, you still give others. And there's a beautiful karma with that. There's a beautiful what you give out, you get back. So putting all this good energy out there, helping others, humanitarian energy, you're receiving back. It's time for you to reap the rewards. Let's take a look at the hanged man. The hanged man... This can be seeing things from a different perspective, sometimes feeling stuck, but it is also about releasing yourself from anything holding you back and look what we have, the devil card. So releasing yourself from, this could be negative attachments with money and security for some of you. You may have had difficulty there. You went through this devil energy. It was about learning lessons involving money, how you handle it, resources, the home, something there. It could have been a difficult chapter and now you're cutting yourself down from this energy. You're releasing it. You're seeing maybe some lessons and hardships that you dealt with from a different perspective. And instead of looking at what you lost or looking at the sadness of it, you're more focused on the positive. So that's a beautiful energy. So for some of you, that is the advice there. Focus on what is coming in and the new door that is opening instead of what's leaving and what no longer serves you. So beautiful wrapping up this chapter. That is Capricorn energy with the devil. We do have Saturn and Capricorn moving direct, um, Pluto and Capricorn. So huge transformations with Pluto, huge rebirth. It's that Scorpio energy. So definitely time to wrap up a chapter. All right, let's take a look at the Empress energy. Let's take a look at the Empress. Lots about rebirth here in abundance. Yeah, look at this. Ace of Swords. Clarity on some matter. Victory. Maybe if this was a legal matter. The Ace of Swords. The crown at the top representing victory. So all the hard work you put in, you've got this new cycle in front of you now, a new beginning. Maybe you had to learn a difficult lesson in how you handled something, whether it was security and finances, and you had to live without for quite some time, and now you're gaining this all back. So, and I want to look at the Seven of Wands. What is the Seven of Wands? Stand your ground. Do not let anybody back in from the past that negatively affected you or wants to come back to try to get into what you have, because that does happen sometimes. Yeah, look at this, Knight of Swords and Temperance. So you could be feeling a little bit defensive yourself because of this energy. Be careful who you let in. Remain balanced, emotionally balanced, balanced with communication, logic and emotion here. But with Temperance, there is a strong balance. And Temperance is also about having the ability to be able to somewhat manipulate a situation, not in a negative light, but be able to change outcomes, circumstances. If there's some kind of communication coming in from somebody from the past who's trying to maybe come back or a situation that didn't serve you. For some of you, there's a need to speak your truth, cut things out, but do so in a positive light. Temperance is saying, take things slow, enjoy what you have, enjoy the finer things in life. Major balance between rock, earth, and water. So emotions, logic, practicality, handle things practically. 
Beautiful energy, Pisces. I hope you guys have an amazing month ahead. I'm doing a special for October the 1st to the 31st for readings. They'll all be 10% off. That's all listed in the description box below, along with the link to my Facebook and Instagram. Take care.